Check out that bike. Is that Yakov's? I think that's Yakov's. Nice. Looks nice. It's clean. There's Yakov. We made it. What's going on, man? Check out that bike. It's a boulevard. That's a badass looking bike, dude. That's a nice bike, man. Oh. That sounds like a Harley. It does. <laughs> it does. But at like 25% of the price. Yeah. Very cool. We got to do a video on that today, and then we got to talk about that today. This one's, this is the new Heritage. It's the, the, the 2021 Heritage by Revzilla. No, that's not Martha Food. <laughs> I knew you were going to. Lovely Amtrak train stop. Hopefully you guys can hear this. We're down in Fredericksburg. <coughs> Here with Volts and Yakov. What's going on, guys? This is uh, Volts' new one of his new bikes. This is, I think, number 18 that he just picked up about three weeks ago, and then we'll talk about number 19 that he picked up two weeks ago. Later, and Yakov, <coughs> what year is this? It's, uh, 2006. Woo the Amtrak guy likes it. It's a 2006 Boulevard. It's a sweet looking bike. And this is your first bike, right? Yeah. Yep. That's yeah, so he's, he's learning how to ride on this. He's only ridden about eight miles. <laughs> We're going to try to uh, train him up today. You guys want to go get some coffee? Yeah. 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 Coffee time. Wow. This looks like the dead of winter back here now, man. There's like no leaves anywhere. I mean, there's nothing here. <laughs> This is like Blair Witch territory shit out here. Watch out, car coming around. This is a nice little road. Yeah. Definitely. God damn, man, I can hear Yakov's pipes in your car, though. <laughs> Those suckers are loud. I know, right? Find some eyes. Yakov is loud and proud. Check out that old bus, man. Wow. Jesus. I hope people don't let them live there. That's the old Partridge family bus. Yeah, that's probably, uh, you're probably too young to get that, but. <laughs> Some of the old people on my channel, if this makes the final edit, probably got that joke. You know who you are, you geezers. Yeah, so I stopped here when I was uh, riding around during lockdown. I got some shots of Sophie along these tracks. Hit that up on yeah, the way you, back. Feel free to stop wherever you want to. In half a mile, the destination is on your left. Stafford Civil War Park. This is the weirdest, coolest sagan I've ever seen. It has no houses but one. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> All right, we made it to the Stafford Civil War Park. Check that out, man. Percy! 
That's awesome. I actually put it on like when we met the first time. I went home and put it on. Oh man, that's cool. Bike, like right away. That's awesome. So yeah, we're out here at Stafford, the Civil War Park. From what we've heard, this little um, this little shack here is where Wet Banana Moto Mike comes to meditate and get his like inspiration for the word of the day, which is like jet fuel for your mind. Let's see if he's home. Hey, hey, Wet Banana, you in there? Hey, Mikey, Mikey. No, Mikey's not home. Mikey's not home, guys. Maybe you went down here to take care of business. Hey, Mikey, you down here? The Blair Witch, what? The Blair Witch of Stafford County. It does look like the Blair Witch out here. Is it really? Do you know where that is? Yeah, in Maryland. It's the Black Hills. Well, we should ride uh, up the there, Black man. Forest. Black Forest. It's uh, between Frederick and the Frederick area. We should ride out to the Blair Witch Territory. As Tony would say, nope, I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> Dustin would go. Dustin, Dustin likes to go, go to spooky places. It's until somebody pulls his foot or something. Yeah. <laughs> I, I do want to ride up to uh, Eastern State Penitentiary in Philly. Oh, dude, check it out. There's all kinds of trails out here. That's where, where uh, Al Capone was. Uh, it's like one of the most haunted uh, places in Pennsylvania. Right, left, safety, danger. I don't know, man. This is like a video game. A this is like the Oregon Trails, which you guys are probably too young to remember. I have the board game. Do you? Mm -hmm. oh, shh. Shh. There's some witches coming over here. There's some witches over there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, act normal, guys. Just don't look them in the eye. Don't look at them. They say it's a hunt site, which is cool, but how do they know? I don't know. It's a story falling down. I mean, I guess maybe the rocks there, they figured it was man made. I don't know. I didn't look at him, I didn't make eye contact. Um, but for the longest time, Plymouth, I think, and uh, no, I take that back, St. Augustine. Welcome Florida. to U.S. History with Yakov, <laughs> episode 29, the well, Jamestown settlement. The Jamestown uh, yeah. site, then. Why? It was the because first. They say that it's so the Plymouth. It's the so Jamestown, the Jamestown was the American first settlement. official British settlement. In this is the value you get from watching being here now with Percy because usually you have to pay five dollars for the guided tour from Yakov. <laughs> Yakov, the instructor of American history. Check out those bikes. Hey guys, you want to talk about your bikes, the new ones? Yeah, sure. Who wants to, you, who wants to go first? Yeah, mine will be quick. All right, here you go. Take All it right. away. All right, so, hey, uh, being here now with Percy, family um this is my this is yakov and uh, this is my 06 suzuki boulevard c50 so it's got the uh, 805 cc engine i believe uh five speed um i bought it with most of the stuff you see on it like the uh vance and heinz um shotgun exhaust um they're pretty darn loud uh, it actually makes this thing sound like a harley which is pretty cool um and then the only thing I really did to it were these bars. So these are the TC Bros Lane Splitters. Uh, they're nine and a half inch, um, I guess, mini apes. Um, but the nice thing about them is they're narrow enough to where if you go from stock Suzuki bars to these, you don't have to change out any of the brake lines or cables or anything. Uh, and then I put on these 
Avon grips with the throttle boss. I uh, still need to tweak where this throttle boss is though because right now it doesn't really work. But the grips are amazing. They cancel out all of the vibration from the bike um, because this thing is a five speed. It does get pretty vibey around, I don't know, 50 or so miles an hour, which is fine because as Percy said, this is my first bike and I don't really like to go on the highway yet. Um, and then it had the sissy bar and the backrest on there uh, when I bought it from my friend. And then I just threw on some rock straps just in case I want to, I don't know, commute to work or something like that. I can uh, chuck my backpack on there. And, oh, thanks to, thanks to Volts, I uh, picked up an SP mount or SP Connect mount. Um, and it's it's been great so far. So that is my boulevard, guys. Thanks for watching. I like that bike. All right, Volts. This is bike number 18, right? This is number 18? Okay. Currently. <laughs> and counting. Hey. Um, so this is my 2013 CB. You. Yeah, isn't that the point? Okay. Oh, no, you can do that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Whatever. It's my, it's my 2013 uh, Honda CV 500X. I bought it about two months ago. It uh, it had 16,000 miles, and it was, I mean, it was a good deal on Craigslist. And I've been wanting to get something more adventure like this uh, for a while. It it came with not a lot of mods. Uh, obviously, being a used bike, it had a it had um, previous owners that made uh, or changed several things on the bike. They installed this nice Yoshimura exhaust that sounds nice, but being a 500, um, it, it really doesn't have any rumble. It's it's mostly for looks and it's a, a Yoshimura exhaust, so that's cool. Um, the other thing that it had was this top box, this uh, Givi one looks looks awful, okay? It, it makes it look like a giant scooter. But once you start using it, because it's massive, you can fit like probably like 32 cans of beer on this thing. It is absolutely massive. Um, and once you start using it, it really, it really doesn't matter how bad it looks. Uh, it's removable, um, but I probably won't, won't change it. I mean, this, this bike's not for looks, it's for practicality. Uh, I added a few things to the bike. Um, I'm still I'm still very new at uh, adding components or or installing bolt-on add-ons. Uh, so some of the things are rough around the edges. Like, for example, this uh, this Gibi this uh, Gibi crash bar is was easy to install, but like the hand the hand guards were not. Uh, I pull I put heated grips on this and a USB USB connector. The good thing about this type of bikes from Honda is that they come with a couple of ports ready to use that you can just get a connector that you pin your cable um, with, with a plastic connector that you can get from eBay and that will connect directly, uh, that will connect directly to those ports and will pull uh, the power out of the battery. When the bike is on, it will power your device. If the, if the bike is off, then it will shut off. Um, I added a, a, a higher windshield. Um, I already had a bunch of scratches on it, FYI. I added this this bar to my, my phone, which by the way is not stock or it does, it's not even made by Honda, so it doesn't really bolt onto it. I have uh, zip ties that are holding it, so don't, don't judge me. And if you judge me, I don't care. Um, then my dash camera that I always use. And my sticker, this adds like 10 horsepower. Dan Lewis in DC, pretty cool. And that's it. So this is my bike. All right, man. On to the next stop. You know, what we could do would be kind of cool is if I just took some iPhone shots if you guys pulled up one at the time right there, in the I, middle? It, yeah, and I could yeah. shoot down, you know, this way.
Yeah. All right, man. Well, it was good hooking up with you today. Yeah, thanks. Thanks again. We'll have to do this again sometime soon. Anytime. I think Volts and I are going to try to figure out. You know how to get to 95? It's we're going to Richmond, right? So see the Cracker Barrel sign? <laughs> no, we're not going to Richmond. <laughs> All right, I'll follow the guy on the funny looking bike. That's a fun that's a funny looking Harley you got there. Yeah. Well, <laughs> it's the Harley CB 500. All right, guys, we're going to head it out here. Thanks for watching. Indian motorcycles, we shall come back and do a test ride. But not today. It's getting cool, and Daddy took his jacket off before he left the house. So, burr. Oh, <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll, I'll message you my address. Peace.